Goulet there. I'm Brian Goulet of GouletPens.com. This is actually part two of our travel pens video series, and this is on a beach vacation. So if you're going on some kind of relaxing vacation getaway type thing, whether it's actually at the beach or not, just something that's kind of relaxing, you have a lot of downtime. These are some products that we could recommend to you that you might be able to take with you to just help to kind of like journal some of your thoughts, talk about some of your dreams, just really kind of pontificate and just really explore some of the relaxing, you know, state of mind that you might not get in your daily life. And being that I have two young kids that are three and five, when I think of beach vacation, I think of something very different. So I've had to talk to the other members of my team because with my kids, I don't often get a relaxing beach vacation, but I've heard they're really nice. So thinking about it in terms of what most people deal with, with the relaxing getaway, we've kind of channeled that energy and put some recommendations here for you today. So starting out with some pen options. Uh, the first one that I'll recommend is a Lamy Safari. Uh, it's durable, it's lightweight, there's lots of fun color options for you. Um, it's widely known as a workhorse pen, so the reliability is really high. And it's got swappable nibs that you could take with you. So you could bring one pen, you could have an extra fine or a broad or italic. You could really kind of just take your time, explore some different nibs, just experiment with some different writing styles if you want to. It's easy to carry around a purse or a pocket or backpack, a beach tote bag or whatever, you know, just keep it, keep it laid back. And you can carry Lamy cartridges or ink samples or you can get a converter and you can use bottled ink as well for $29.60. It's a relatively affordable fountain pen that's going to be able to take you wherever your dreams will go. This next pen I'll recommend is the Platinum Preppy. Platinum Preppy is a really inexpensive pen, but for how inexpensive it is, it's a pretty reliable writer. The nibs are really good. The extra fine one especially writes like a dream, especially for how fine that nib is. If you lose it or drop it, it's a low investment, so you don't really have to sweat it too hard. Uh, you can use it in an eyedropper, a cartridge, or a converter style. So you got lots of different filling options for your different inks. Um, and if you're traveling with family or friends, it's a great pen that you can let them try it out if they've never used a fountain pen because you know it's you know it's not a big investment. So you can just let them kind of experiment with it. And if they mess up the nib or something, it's not a huge deal. For only four to five dollars, this one is a really good choice to take with you. The last pen I'll recommend to you is the Pilot Metropolitan. Of course you can go with the fountain pen, I'm a huge fan of that one, but I'm actually going to recommend the Rollerball. That's a recent addition that we've gotten here at GouletPens.com, and the reason I like the Metropolitan Rollerball is it has the great balance, uh, weight, and durability that the fountain pen does, but in the Rollerball version, which uses the very popular Pilot G2 Gel Rollerball Refill, and that refill is the most popular rollerball refill in the United States right now and it's available just about everywhere so if you're off in some random you know remote location chances are if they have any pens they're gonna have spare refills for you it comes with a 0.7 millimeter medium refill and it's all around just a phenomenal pen for thirteen dollars and fifty cents now let's talk notebooks. Okay, so you got your pens. Now you're talking about notebooks that you want to take with you. The first one I'm going to recommend is going to be more of just a lightweight kind of carry around. It's a Field Notes, and it's a three and a half by five and a half size. Couple different color options for you. There's a brown and a black that are available in a three pack. But Field Notes has seasonal editions that come out every few months, so you can get some kind of unique, very interesting ones that you could uh, carry with you as well. Those are always kind of coming fresh, um, so be sure to check out what they. Have have going on. Um, it's a three pack that you can get available in either a blank lined or a graph. They're rugged, they're flexible colors, they lay flat when you open them. These are great notebooks to take with you if you're going say on a nature hike or just to some kind of walk where you just want to write down a quick note. Uh, for $9.95 for the three pack, uh, it's a pretty good option for you. Now this notebook option is really more kind of a journal. So the, the field notes is good for a carry around, but uh, I'm gonna give you a couple journal options. So the first one is a Rodeo web notebook. I'm a big fan of the web notebook. I've been using it for years personally uh, for a lot of journaling, diary type situation. Uh, I like this one because of the outstanding paper quality. It uses Clairefontaine quality paper um, and it's got a seven millimeter lined ruling or you can get it in a five millimeter dot 
or a uh, blank paper as well. So depending on how you like to brainstorm or journal, whatever, you got some options. So orange or a black cover, and the size that I like the best is a larger size. It's a five and a half by 8.25 inch size, the A5 size, for $25. The other journal that I really like is the Quovatis Habana. And the thing I like about this one, it's very similar to the web notebook, but it's slightly larger, both top and the side. And it's slightly thinner as well. So when you lay it open, it lays very flat, but it just feels really good when you're writing on it, especially when your hand gets to the edge because it doesn't have as quite a steep a drop as you're writing with it. Um, the ruling is a little bit tighter on the lined one, five and a half millimeters, but it's also got a blank option as well. So you got a couple different things that you can choose from and the thing I like about the Habana over the web notebook is the cover color options. It's got some brighter more vibrant colors that you can choose from just really kind of fun things for a personal journal that make it really interesting. So for $24 you can pick up a 6 by 9 inch Habana for yourself. So now let's talk about ink. I'm not going to like hardcore recommend any specific inks because honestly it's kind of just whatever you want to do. So I recommend if you already have some inks that you don't use a lot, just take some that you would normally use. You know, you may rediscover an ink that you haven't used in a while that you really love. But if you wanted to pick up something new, I would recommend something really kind of vibrant and more interesting. Just something you wouldn't use every day like at work. You know, so stay away from the blacks and the blue blacks and all that kind of stuff. Go with something more vibrant. You know, some recommendations I have for you, just a couple to throw them out there. Schaefer Turquoise, uh, maybe Noodler's Saguaro Wine, Diamine Hope Pink, Diamine Sunset, you know, just some interesting colors that maybe kind of have kind of a beachy Mediterranean type of vibe, something that would just be kind of fun for you. So I hope you like these recommendations. It's kind of just ones that us on the Goulet team here thought uh, would be good ones to recommend to you, but really there is no wrong way to go. It's really laid back and kind of whatever you, whatever you want to take with you. So I'm very curious to hear uh, what you like to take on your vacations. So if you want to leave any comments on YouTube or on the blog, I'd be very curious to hear what are some of your favorite things. Uh, if you like these ones, uh, these products, you want to learn more about them, you can check them out on gouletpens.com. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, you can do so on our YouTube page. Thanks so much for watching and right on.